Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Morning Tales for April 13, 2019. And as you know, we are going to discuss the most important current affairs for April 13. So watch the video till end so that you do not miss on any of the important current affairs as these are very important for all the examination, the government examination you are preparing for. So let's look at the first current affair that is Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been honoured with the Order of St. Andrew. It is the highest state decoration of which country? So this is not for the first time that any highest order of the particular country has been presented to Narendra Modi. And this time the Order of St. Andrew that is the highest honour, state honour of Russia has been presented to Narendra Modi because he has promoted the partnership between India and Russia. As I just mentioned that this is not the for the first time that international uh, awards have been presented to Narendra Modi. There are other awards as well which are presented. So the first one is the Seoul Peace Prize 2018. The list is very important. Another one is the United Nations Champions of the Earth Award. Next one, the Grand Caller of State of Palestine. Another one being the Amir Abdullah Khan award of afghanistan and so this was for 2015 this uh, seoul peace prize for for 2018 un champions of the earth for 2018 and the grand caller of Pal the state of palestine that is again for 2018 so these three become the most important ones now one question which i would like to ask you in the comment section that recently another highest state decoration was given to narendra modi that is popularly known as order of Zayed. So this order of Zayed belongs to which country? You need to mention in the comment section below. The next question is who has been appointed as the first woman vice chancellor of Jamia Milia Islamia? So after 99 years of inception, this is for the first time that the Central University of Delhi, that is Jamia Milia Islamia, has got the first woman vice chancellor and she is Najma. Akhtar. And it is believed, as per some reports, it is believed that this is for the first time that any central university of Delhi has the vice chancellor women. So, not only for Jamia Milia Islamia, but for any central university in Delhi, this is for the first time a women's vice chancellor has been appointed, and she is Najma Akhtar. Next is what is the name of the application launched by National Informatics Center for ensuring 24 7 power supply? So the National Informatics Center to ensure that the people are having the uninterrupted power supply, they have launched this application which is 24-7 real-time consumer feedback application. So people can give their feedback on the same regarding the power supply and the name of the application is Jagro which actually means aware. Why this application was formed? Because there was this uh, integrity issue that uh, people, the states are claiming that they have provided power to all the areas. So to ensure that their the power has been provided to all the areas in the states, this application has been launched and it would be soon launched as a pilot project in Odisha, the Union Territories, Andhra Pradesh and other states as well. A question might come other way around as well that the Jagruk 24-7 uh, power supply application has been launched by which authority? So it is National Informatics Center. Next question and very very important question is as per the state of the world population 2019 report what is the current life expectancy rate in India? Before going to the answer of this question, first of all, which organization publishes this State of the World Population 2019 report? So, the organization which publishes this report is the UNFPA. That is the United Nations Population Fund. So, this is the name of the organization which actually publishes this State of the World Population Report. And apart from this, this is for the first time that they have taken the uh, data or they have providing the data on the three indicators which have been compiled from the women aged between 15 to 49 years. And this data is based on the three key areas. The first key area is the sexual intercourse the data has been combined regarding that next one is the contraceptive use and the last one is the healthcare. Okay, and this is all related to the women aged between 15 to 49 years 
Now coming back to the question that what is the current life expectancy rate in India? So earlier the expectancy rate in the year 1969 was 47 years and it has now improved to 69 in 2019. If we talk about the other countries, then the world, the average of the life expectancy stands at 72. For China, it is 77. For India, it is 69. US, it is 80. So, US is far uh, better than the other countries like India. Other key data which, were, which was there in this report was that the population of India as of April 2019 stands at 1.36 billion and China is a little bi uh, ahead of India that is 1.4 billion being the most populous country in the world and India being the second most populous in the world. Now coming to the population by the percentage. This means that what percentage of the population falls in what age group. So if we talk about the 0 to 14 category, so 27% of the total population of India falls in this age group. If we look at this number, then the maximum age group of India, that is 67% falls in the 15 to 64 of age group. Next one, the 6% population which belongs to the 65 plus age group. So these are the different findings which have been found out in the State of the World Population 2019 report and it has been published by the UNFPA. Moving on to the next question, the stock market of which country has surpassed the Japan stock market to become the third largest stock market in terms of market capitalization? So first of all, the first two uh, stock markets in terms of market capitalization is US and China. Now recently Hong Kong has surpassed Japan and it has become the third largest stock market in terms of the market cap. So it is the third largest stock market. Fourth one being the Japan. And what is the actual market capitalization of Hong Kong and Japan? So Hong Kong stands at 5.78 trillion dollar and Japan is little behind that is 5.68 trillion dollar of the market capitalization so this is how hong kong has surpassed being the third largest stock market in terms of market cap next question and quite important question when is the international day of human space flight observed so each year april 12th is observed as the international day of human space flight and in the year 1961 so on 12th april 1961 the first human space flight was carried out and it was carried out by Yuri Gagarin. So, in 1961, on 12th of April, Yuri Gag Yuri Gagarin carried the human space flight. Therefore, April 12th is observed as the International Day of Human Space Flight. Another question is, DASH was awarded the Public Water Agency of the Year Award 2019 by the Global Water Intelligence. So, this Global Water Intelligence was... These awards were presented at the Global Water Summit which was held in London and under the uh, Public Water Agency of the Year Award category, the Namami Gange which is popularly or which is formally known as the National Mission for Clean Ganga. So the formal name that is the National Mission for Clean Ganga or more popularly known as the Namami Gange project, it, has award, it was awarded with the Public Water Agency of the Year Award 2019. This Namami Gange is the flagship program which was launched in 2014 and that too under the Ministry of, which ministry? Water, Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation. So under the Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Regeneration, in 2014, Namami Gange was launched and has recently been awarded with the Public Water Agency of the Year Award 2019. The last question is, Manpreet Kaur is associated with, first of all, why this question? What is the reason behind the question Manpreet, related to Manpreet Kaur? So recently what has happened is, she has been banned for four years by the National Doping Agency of India, the National Anti-Doping Agency of India. They have banned Manpreet Kaur for four years after there was this drug test in 2017 which she failed. Now the question comes, she is associated with which sport? So the answer for this question is short put. Manpreet Kaur is a professional short put player and she in fact won the gold medal in the Asian Championships 2017 but now she has to give away the gold medal as well as she has failed the uh, doping test 
Now there is another short put player, very famous short put player, and she is the first Indian woman to win a medal in the Paralympic Games as well. So I am just going to give you the facts related to the lady. You are going to uh, mention in the comment section below that what is the name of the lady. I have in fact put put the picture over here, so we can just have a look. Now recently she has been honored with the New Zealand Prime Minister Sir Edmund Hillary Fellowship for 2019. Sir Edmund Hillary Fellowship 2019. She is a very famous athlete and you need to answer in the comment section below what is the name of the person or what is the name of the woman who has won the medal in the Paralympic Games for the first time. In fact, she won the silver medal in the short put event in 2016 Rio Olympics. So what is the name of the person? Do not forget to mention that in the comment section below. This is all for the current affairs for the April 13th. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have learned anything from this video. Anything valuable if you have learned, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Apart from this, the content is already available on the website www.anujindal.in and as I just mentioned that it is very important to participate while you are watching the video as it will help you in retaining the knowledge and in fact keep a check on your knowledge how much you have studied. Do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss on any of the updates whenever there is a video being posted on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching the video. We will be coming up with the next video soon.